Hello, just want to do a video using my new Canon camcorder. It's the HF R40, and I have figured out how to do the white balancing. So what you see here is the true color. And trying to focus the shrimp pile here, get a better view. Um, the one news is that um, you remember I told you on the other video that I have three crystal restaurant partner and one just finished giving birth. Birth. I have found another one, yet another one got pregnant, so I still have three shrimp that is uh, going under the uh, the hatching process. The hatching process. So uh, you guys will be seeing a lot of babies very soon. And today is gonna show you a close up on those shrimp details. I did a couple of test videos already. And, um, I am amazed how well the camera, the camcorder actually capture, or I mean the ability to zoom in. I can see all those uh, tentacle, I think tentacle, those those hair that's sticking out. You can see that it's not sharp. Oh, I just went too far and it's off oh, focus. Back off a little bit. <coughs> Let me see if I can try again. Nope. That's the maximum I it will go. Anyway, go back a little bit. So they are apparently eating all those leftover food that I feed them once every two days or three days and um, they are LG tablet I bought it from a pet store and, and they only eat it as a, some something like a buffet only a, a good meal once in a while usually they only fed by the microorganism um, in the water as well as I do put some almond leaves that I purchased on eBay. They are from Asia. There's a seller from Taiwan and I believe her name is Amy. You can uh, search that name and you can get some almond leaves. I just get the grade C I believe. Um, doesn't need to be a high grade. High grade is only meaning it will have a whole leaves, no breakage, no holes. But who cares? It's feeding shrimp. So whatever that is almond leaves, it works. It makes the water softer. I think um, and the shrimp loves to eat that I mean they, they eat it like Asian eat rice I would say so um, other than that I do feed them some fruit <laughs> I believe it a lot um, I feed them a uh, kiwi a leftover kiwi that I ate once and I just use spoon to scrape a little bit and put it into the tank I also feed them orange the cherry red shrimp likes orange but not the crystal red shrimp not that much and I also feed them uh, lettuce and I haven't tested out too many other food that that I eat and, and see if the shrimp eat or not anyway uh, make sure that you do have some sort of calcium supply in your tank and in my case if I bring a little bit to show you here on top there is an eggshell what I believe it does is to have the uh, calcium slowly release it back into the water um, other than shrimp in this tank I also have snails before my snails always having a hard time staying alive for a long time because they just they're just in there isn't enough calcium in the in the water, so um, eventually the shell cracks and they die. But after I get this new snail batch, um, they've been uh, going inside to the shrimp shell and outside, and they, they just nibbling on it or lick on the shell. They 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 got what they need, the calcium. And they've been very healthy, and there's no crack, no sign of cracking on the on the back of the shell. So I think that might be a cheap solution or the, the alternative method 
then um, feeding them some calcium supplement tablet that you purchase from drugstore I, I think uh, yeah I don't think I have any other things to say I will go out a little bit and give you a tour or uh, overview of my shrimp tank although I did this before already but it never looks that great so here it is let me hold the camera straight first so on the left is only for shrimp and snail whereas the one on the right again is shrimp and fish I separate the uh, crystal shrimp or cherry shrimp the lower grey the one that doesn't look that colorful into this one so um, I'll be breeding for coloration on this left tank um, if you look closely there are some that doesn't look that bright red for the cherry mushroom but I have no choice if I take the uh, teenage or the uh, small babies and put it on the other tank all my fish will ate it like nothing so I will have them let them I will need to let them grow up a bit first before I can separate them for separate the lower grey cherry shrimp. You guys can see, can see this is a this is what I'm talking about. Not much coloration. If I give it another month or so I'll probably net it out and put it on to, to the whiteness I think. And <clears throat> I think most of you notice um, it's always that one ox shrimp eh? always get into the filter can you guys see that let me see if i can focus that there always there's something inside the filter 